First, scientists have subjected radioactive elements to a wide range of temperatures, pressures, magnetic and electric fields without measuring any change in the rate of decay. possible to accelerate the rate of decay, we wouldn't have radioactive waste piling up for nuclear reactors. If you accelerate the rate of decay, you accelerate the rate of heat production. The core of the Earth is kept molten in part due to the heat given off from the decay of radioactive elements. If you compressed 4.5 billion years of radioactive decay into a few thousand years, as some young Earth creationists would have you believe, the ground you're currently standing on would be molten. Yet that doesn't seem to be the case. So when someone says radiometric dating is inaccurate, yes, it's one-tenth of one percent inaccurate. Carbon-14 dating can be used to determine when organic material was last alive. Carbon dioxide containing a C14 atom is taken up and incorporated into plants. The amount of C14 in the plant is in equilibrium with C14 in the atmosphere. How do we know how much C14 was in the atmosphere in the past? We calibrate it using trees. How do we know how old the trees are? Simple. We count the rings. Also, nitrogen-14 that is in close proximity to uranium can be converted into C14. 
Ever heard of scientists finding C14 in coal? If coal is millions of years old, all the carbon-14 should have decayed away, due to it having a half-life of only 5,700 years. Is this proof coal is actually very young? No.